So we got the usual suspects here, Foundry USA, we got Ampool, we got Via BTC, and we got Foundry once again. So what can we do about that? That's the question, and that maybe I'll talk about that right now. Let's do it right now. So I got a, uh, I got a couple of these guys on the weekend. Let, actually, let me show this video first quickly, because there was a, a Bitax a quick video that I saw. It's a minute long. Uh, where are we here? So I got a couple of these bid axes in the mail last week. I haven't set them up yet. I'm hoping to do it today. But let's take a look at this video for this guy's unboxing and review of a bid axe. Because the pro one of the problems, that, I wouldn't say it's a problem right now, but one of the potential problems for Bitcoin is the centralization of miners. And so what we can do is everybody here, and my goal for this year is to get every single person who's ever watched the Bitcoin journey, get them mining using a bit axe. So let's watch this. Today we are going to build generational wealth. This is a bit X Supra, which is a tiny Bitcoin miner with only one single Bitcoin mining chip. For comparison, uh, S21 Pro, which is a top-notch Bitcoin miner, has 324 of these same chips. So this mighty little thing is very weak. However, it has also very little electricity consumption of 15 watts, which is around 10 cents in Germany per day. I paid 281,920 Satoshis. So let's get this bad boy running and become spiffy rich. Plugged it in. Let's go! Super easy setup and we are mining baby. So now I'm making 0.0000046 Bitcoin per day, which is 46 Satoshis, which is two cents. By now, I had the Bitex running for around nine days, which put me at 379 Satoshis. During the same time, this little thing had cost me around 90 cents in electricity costs, Ooh. which puts me at... 70 cents loss. Mm. So I guess generational wealth creation has to wait until another day. Generational wealth has to wait until another day. So I got this little guy. They are quite little. The bit axe. So I'm going to get this thing humming soon pretty sexy little unit i might buy a, a case for it but uh, that'll cut into profits as well so he said he was losing about 70 cents but we don't talk in cents we talk in sats so he's not really losing anything he's losing some fake fiat but he's gaining non-kyc bitcoin so as i said i want my goal for this year is to get every single person who's ever watched the show set up with one of these bit axes Mining Bitcoin, I got two of them. I'm gonna hook up one to a pool mine and I'm gonna use a solo miner for one of them. The solo miner is more of a lottery ticket, but if you ever hit that block, three Bitcoin coming your way. So that's a little bit better than 279 Satoshis. But don't think of uh, when you get one of these bid axes. I want everybody to have one of these because it's important to decentralize the Bitcoin network and the mining, even if it is a small amount. 120, 1,324th of a normal miner. But that doesn't matter. We want to decentralize the network. We want to get everybody involved learning this stuff. And then if you ever do get a miner, you're kind of already familiar with the whole process of it. So when you do get one of these, I don't want you to think about the cost in fiat. He said he's losing 70 cents a day. I want you to think about all the Satoshis that you're going to be accruing. Start earlier than later. Don't wait to do this. Get going with it. Get all your Satoshis into one little non-KYC pile. And just sit on that for a while because even like today's is titled today's show is titled living in the future so don't consider the the cost of the satoshis today think about what they're going to be worth in 10 years from now and the best time to be starting that is today so actually i've been i ordered these from a company called solo satoshis so i've been talking back and forth with matt who is the one of the owners of solo satoshi <clears throat> And what, uh, hold on, let me find this just to make sure I get it right. He actually set me up with a store. So we got a little storefront for the Bitcoin journey. If anybody out there wants to 
order one of these bit axes. I think I paid about 300 bucks for both of them. So I'm going to put this link right now into the bottom of this show, into the show notes. And if you're somebody who's been wanting to get a bit axe, I'm going to be talking about it for the next little while. So if you want to follow along on the journey, get yours ordered and start keeping track with us here, I'm going to put a link for you to do it. They, they are the cheapest one. He said he paid about 300 for one of them. I paid 150 each, 300 for both of them. And you are able to get them shipped to if you're in Canada, in the US, or if you're in Australia. So for everybody else, I apologize, but that's kind of the only way that we could do it with the prices that he had. So I got the bid axes now in there in the key links in the chain part of the show notes. So check that out. Check that one out. If you're interested, use that link. Um, they're kind of a sponsor of the show in a, in a more casual way, I guess you'd say. But that has officially been added into the show notes. So it's right at the top. Look under bid axes. And like I said, the best prices you're going to find are with Solo Satoshi. They're an American company too. <clears throat> 